So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to learn about printf in C. Now printf is a function used in C to print something to the console. Well, that's easy to say, but how does it work? Well, you see that uh, we have been doing this mysterious stuff right here, hash include stdio.h. But what happens is that this line enables us to use some more functions, some functions which you cannot really see in this file. So what are those? Well, to begin with, printf is one of them. So what printf does is that it allows you to write data to console. For example, like, hi, my name is codedam, right? And when you save this, when you go to the console, tutorial 6.c, and when you run this, you're going to get, hi, my name is codedam, just like you write here. So that's it. That's basically it. You can see that the first argument, arguments are the values which we pass to the functions. So the first argument here in the printf statement is actually a string in double quotes. This is important. We are not using single quotes or backticks or anything because in C, double quotes means string. And you always print a string to the console. So you need double quotes here. Remember, we talked about characters. Characters have to have a single quote for them, right? You cannot store them in a double quote because they then give you a warning, an error, something like that. So you need single quotes for characters and you need double quotes for strings like that. So that's how you print some values to the console. Now, printf can accept any number of arguments, that is any number of values passed to it. And in a function, all these values are separated by a comma. So if you want to give three values to a function, you're going to give them like this, one comma, two comma, three. If you want to give four values like this. But remember, the first value of printf is always a string. This is just a fancy name for string, right? So this is always a string. And the rest of the values depends on what this particular value is, which we're going to take a look at later on. But for now, you can just omit this and just work with a single value whatsoever. So if you save this, go ahead, run GCC, it allowed, we get whatever you write in here, right? So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.